Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ninjas96 and I'm here to welcome you to my new YouTube channel. Uh, when I say new, it's not actually new, but we'll get around to that later. For now, I just want to say welcome and uh, explain some a few things that are going on on the channel. What's been happening in the past, what's going to be happening in the future, and a couple of housekeeping things that I'd like to get out of the way first. So, I'm just going to get right into it. Just before we start, I should explain, this is just a voiceover. In the background, I have Binding of Isaac Rebirth playing. It's a run that I started this morning, uh, testing out a couple of new bits and pieces with the recording equipment and all that jazz. So, yeah, that is what's going on in the background. That's what you're seeing, just to make sure that I'm not talking at a blank screen for the whole time. In fact, what I'm looking at is OBS showing me the inception of screen capture but um, yeah so the the footage you're seeing at the moment I wasn't really paying too much attention I wasn't doing a voiceover either I was sort of chatting to my dad and playing around with the dogs not paying a huge amount of attention I was just playing for the background footage for this <laughs> um, so there are a couple of times I do some really stupid things I should profess this by saying I'm not I'm not a professional and uh we will go on to talk about that a little bit more. But until then, this is The Binding of Isaac, and we're going to mix it with YouTube chat. So the first thing on my little list of things I'd like to talk to you about is content. Obviously, it's the reason why you're here. It's the reason why I'm making videos. So this is probably the first thing we should talk about. Now, uh, in the past, on this channel, I've been doing Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. So I would... Uh, open the new set that comes out because I, I order it anyway and I was using my iPhone to record it it's got a good enough camera so I thought you know what let's let's give that a go I watch a bunch of people do these openings um I could do it too the content doesn't isn't really determined by the person or the equipment it's determined by the cards so let's let the cards talk to themselves and it's not something where I need particularly good equipment to do in fact I bought a three pound tripod off of Amazon just set it up on a couple of boxes I already have this mic which I used on again off again back in back in the day this was about a year ago in fact uh, because the first thing I opened well the first new thing I opened was Shining Victories so that's kind of a, an interesting thought um, but sort of skipping on from that um, yeah I, I did that for a while and a couple of the videos got maybe a hundred views which for me a starting channel that was very good I didn't put very much effort into those videos I just did sort of I just sat down and recorded I did jump cuts because uh, I have two dogs and they they do tend to be quite noisy especially when I'm uh, I'm using the iPhone camera without the mic on and they sort of run around I have to do jump cuts but they were never particularly interesting ones um, and so I got to a stage doing that where I was opening new stuff and that was fine because I was doing that anyway but I wanted to keep a schedule going I said right I'm going to upload a video every Friday and sort of what ended up happening was I went oh there's nothing coming out on Friday this week so I'll buy something I'll, I'll buy a tin or something and because I was buying older stuff because it was cheaper uh, no one really watched the videos and I didn't really enjoy opening them because it was old stuff and it was all a bit it got to the stage where I was trying to make something where I wasn't enjoying the stuff I was doing anymore so it sort of made me not want to open the packs because I thought well if I open them off camera then I'm missing out on content but I can't record while there's other people in the house and while the dogs are agitated so I was sort of trying to juggle the two things and it wasn't working so I sort of stepped away from that I did do a couple of Netrunner videos which you will probably see in the future and they were fine um, but they were if memory serves this was during the competitive Netrunner season and we wanted to record a game where uh, I was playing against someone else who was also recording and then we swapped footage so that we could watch the sort of decision making processes um, and that may well happen again in the future but for now that's what the content has been but 
I know I've been ranting a little bit about how the whole Yu-Gi-Oh content wasn't working for me. That's not going to stop. I do, in fact, have a very, very exciting video queued up, <laughs> which anyone who I've spoken to since will know about it purely because I was that excited. But yes, so I will do some Yu-Gi-Oh openings here and there, but it's not going to be the main focus because um, making YouTube videos is easy, really. Depends on how much effort you want to put into them, obviously. And I'm not saying that, you know, professional YouTubing is, is an easy job. It's, it's not. I can understand now how much work goes into some of these channels. And <laughs> but, yeah. So, I mean, all I did, I downloaded OBS, which is a free screen capture service. I had a couple of games on Steam, and I thought, I'll play them on stream because it's a way of extending the content. Whereas Yu-Gi-Oh was sort of being dri was being driven by the content. Uh, the content sort of comes up as a coincidence, I suppose. Over the next few weeks, you will see from my channel many series. Uh, I think I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six or seven video series is queued up. And when I say series, that is a very loose term. Uh, I want to stress that I'm not going to be doing a, a multitude of series. Essentially, I'm going to be releasing one main series on my channel. Uh, I believe this is going to be every Sunday I will release an episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now it is an early access indie game. Uh, I explain all of this in episode zero of Oxygen Not Included, so make sure you check that out if you want to hear more about it. But that's going to be the sort of driving force of my my content for the next few weeks. And that's going to last as long as I enjoy making it, I suppose, or as long as it gets watched, one or the other. And that's going to be sort of my forerunner series. Now, as a sort of secondary series, I will be playing The Binding of Isaac, as uh, inspired by the videos by Fenton Bailey. Again, this is all explained in Binding of Isaac Episode 0. Uh, but that's going to be sort of a back burner series. So the plan is, on Sunday, you will see a 20 to 30 minute episode of Oxygen Not Included. And then on a Wednesday, you will see probably a slightly shorter video, which will be either The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which is going to be my secondary series. That will run for a bunch of episodes. I think I've got two or three recorded now at present. But that'll run. And we will also have several pilot series. I've recorded a whole bunch because we'll get around to that. Uh, I've recorded a whole bunch. We have pilot series of uh, Yomi, Pokemon Showdown because it's free online and easy to use, and Netrunner. I've recorded a couple of videos of each of those ready to go out so that on Wednesdays you will see one of those things. And unlike Oxygen Not Included, these won't be hard and fast series. These will be one-off episodes or Binding of Isaac may be a series because I don't play it too much off camera these days. But yeah, so these will be me trying stuff out. If it, if it works, if I enjoy it, if the content is stimulating and fun, I will record more. Uh, Pokemon and Netrunner, in fact, particularly so, because those are things that I play, and recording them will help me be able to play them better as a person, so I'll be able to see decision-making skills and all that, all of that, all of those good things. So, and in fact, those two in particular will be driven by external seasons of things, because Pokemon, the DS game, has online competitions that I take part in and because I take part in those I want to get practice in and if I'm, if I'm doing practice on Pokemon Showdown anyway it's the easiest thing in the world to just to kick off OBS and start recording. And similarly with Netrunner, if I find time to play Netrunner with any of the people I normally do so with then I will record it because it's content and particularly with Netrunner I can get other people in a Skype chat to record so that we can have a little discussion about it, which should be fun. And 
at the end of the day, that is the goal. I'm I'm doing this as a way of having fun. <laughs> uh because you know i'm not i'm not expecting to make it with the inverted obviously you can't see that uh, i'm not expecting to make it i'm making videos as a way of enjoying myself and sort of demonstrating my talents if you will so that's sort of the end of the content bit of the rant and hopefully you are enjoying it let's uh, move on to the next topic of discussion the next part of our little YouTube chat is going to be talking about why bother in the first place. What's the point in making content? Why, if I already discussed that I didn't enjoy making the Yu-Gi-Oh content, am I now back making a lot more content, a lot more effort going into all my content, and making this rant, essentially. Uh, so, one particular example is uh, Fenton Bailey's content, which I watched, I enjoyed, and I sort of watched it and noticed his approach to making content, whereby he sits down, hits the record button, plays, uploads. And it got me sort of thinking about the pros and cons of that, because there are pros and cons, it, and I don't, I, I enjoy that, it's a good content, but I don't think it's me. So, as I'm not entirely sure if I've already mentioned on this rant, because while I, I have a script by my side, but I'm talking without looking at it, because that's what comes naturally to me. I watched those videos, I was thinking about the pros and cons, yes that's where this trail of thought started, I was thinking about the pros and cons and I thought okay so this way of making videos has these pros and these cons so what happens if I take this bit and tweak it a little bit, I put my own stance, I say okay well I'm gonna put more time in the behind the scenes so that rather than having a 40 minute episode of me talking we will have a 20 minute episode in which 40 minutes of gameplay happens and we just skip over the bits that aren't very interesting. I wanted to take a more behind the scenes approach. I wanted to say I'm going to, I'm saying say a lot, I'm going to try and step away from that. Uh, I'm looking at his videos and exploring some of the more behind the scenes things that he's not doing. So editing the video, it just does. and doing that makes the whole editing process a bit more worthwhile I'm developing a skill because no doubt that whole that'll all get better over time it I enjoy that bit and it's about the creative process that happens not just on screen while I'm building my base or playing around on Isaac or building a team it's the creative process where I'm getting all my bits of footage and snipping them together in a creative way yeah so the equipment situation is probably the next logical progression in this YouTube chat. I'm just going to flick back my page to make sure I'm covering all the right stuff. So uh, I've mentioned that I'm using OBS, uh, Open, Open Broadcasting Service, uh, which I just downloaded for free online. Uh, it literally just displays my capture. I did play around with the audio and all that jazz many times, so if that's remarkably different between this video and the last one that I recorded, or the next one even, that I recorded uh, a week ago now, then that's why I've been sort of refining the process as I go. Uh, on top, I'm using a not a very good laptop in terms of gaming, it's just one that I have because it's convenient, because it's small, I can carry it around, and it's my work laptop, I'm, it's, it's, not, it's not built for games. So that's why I play games like Oxygen Not Included, and Binding of Isaac, because there isn't a big payload payload weight on my laptop while I'm playing them. Uh, that said, during recording, um, I noticed this many, many times, but I attributed it to different things across that period. The frame rate does drop a lot in some of my earlier videos. Uh, there's there's no way of getting around that. I'm not going to go back and record them all again. Uh, at first I thought it was just the editing software, which is called OpenShot. I picked it because it's free. Um, yeah, I thought it was OpenShot not buffering properly. Uh, then I thought it was the video not pro buffering properly. I sort of passed the buck on as many times as possible. Uh, and then I realised that it was OBS, because... 
is some technical stuff, but yeah, the frame rate does drop a lot towards the end of Oxygen Not Included episodes. And if there's some times where I've recorded two or three episodes in a row and it just can't it can't keep up properly. So towards the end it gets very slideshowy. And I apologize, there's nothing I can do. What I can say is I've found the solution. Uh and for example, the footage you are watching now, which may be running out, I don't remember how much footage I have, I think it was about 15 minutes, um, so we may have to record some more of that. The footage you're watching now should be better. Uh, there's a setting that means it takes up a lot more space on your hard drive when you're recording clips, but it's much better quality. So basically that means that when I'm playing I have to be more wary, do some more like five ten minute clips rather than trying to do a 20 minute clip and then cut it up later it's a bunch of changes that i have to get used to but hopefully doing that will fix things oh. so it it does get slideshowy towards the end of some oxygen not included and bising of isaac yomi i haven't rewatched if i'm honest but the pokemon and netrunner videos should be fine because they're very low tolerance it's just it's just a card game so that should be okay but a uh, card and DS game. You understand. So those should be fine. But the first five or six episodes of Oxygen Not Included definitely do get very bad. And I've not actually recorded another episode of that since making this change. I only made it this morning. And I can only hope that it makes it better overall. So, I mean, by all means, leave comments. Tell me things that you've learned about the game or tell me that I'm a massive idiot and that me playing Binding of Isaac is is not a demonstration of how good I am at gaming <laughs> but uh, I, can't, I can't necessarily promise that me read, I will read your comment and, and put it into action because it will be a long time in the future but if you do want to comment feel free I'm, I will try and reply to everything um, if, I, if I make it that promise might might slip away a little bit and depending on how the whole YouTube interface works, I might not. I don't know how it works these days. But I will try and reply. So I, I, I think that's that's everything on my on my list. Um. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Binding of Isaac footage in the background. There will be at least two more episodes of that. This stuff isn't going to go in an episode. It's just sort of in the background. Uh, but there are at least two episodes of that to look forward to. And thank you everyone for watching and staying to the end of my little ramble. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. It is now Easter as I'm recording this. Uh, Easter weekend, in fact. So happy Easter. Obviously, you've already had it. But for, for me, I haven't quite had it yet. So I hope you had a good Easter. I hope I'm going to have one. And hopefully I will. Not certain whether this footage will make the cut, so... <laughs> anyway.